Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So, I found more peony tubers. If you watched my video from last year where I talked all about planting peonies in the south, you know that it is kind of a hit or miss down here. We don't have enough cold hours and the peony plants themselves don't always do great in our hot temperatures. So one of the tips that I found for that video is that certain tubers do better than others in our hot climates. I'm in a zone 8B and so three of the plants or the peonies, helicopters are flying today, y'all, that I specifically found that do well in our hot southern climates are the Shirley Temple peonies that we planted from tubers last year. I'll link to that video. And the Jacorma peonies that I found two plants of at my local nursery. The third set that I found are these Sarah Bernhardt's. And I looked online last year and I didn't find any. But this year, I was over at my local big box store and I found a couple. And they were $7.98 per plant, which was actually better than the prices I was finding online. Big box store versus independent realtor or, um, you know, a local nursery. Quality probably won't be as good as the tubers I got last year, but tubers are tubers. So let's open them. Let's plant them and we'll see what happens. All right. So here's a look at the front. They are a beautiful kind of baby pink kind of color. It says, of course, full sun to partial shade, spring to summer, and they are an excellent cut flower. You're going to plant these just under the soil line. Any eyes on the tubers, you want to be partially above the soil. And these are, um, they're tall plants, they're bushes. Um, once they finally grow, they are 32 to 36 high and you want to give good space like four feet in between plants because they are going to get big. They do need that cold time in the south. We actually put ice on ours. I did a video on that as well, but these won't be able to be iced because it's already late in the season, but we'll ice them next year. Okay. So. Here we go. So you can see there is an eye on this plant and it looks healthy, just one. So we will plant this with the eye of the peony right above the soil line and what looks like the old bloom stalk pointing straight up. But this is a, this is a healthy tuber. So let's go put it in the ground and uh, mark it. All right, so in the south, we want to plant more shade than sun. So I plant all my peonies down here in my shade part of the garden. And by all, I mean I have four. This will be five and six. And peonies take a while to establish before they will bloom. So while I did have some pretty plants last year, I do not have any blooms yet. This is definitely a, a labor of love and of trust. There we go. So we're going to plant this guy with that eye poking up out of the soil, very shallow. We'll water him in once we get him planted. And then we won't water him again, short of ice cubes, once or twice a week until we start to see growth in the next month or so as it gets to be spring. Perfect. I did make some tags because starting to get a whole collection here and I don't want to forget which is which especially when it comes to the tubers if I ever need to transplant them so mark this baby as a Sarah Bernhardt and we'll do the second one all right y'all should have opened both bags because this is a much better tuber within the first one there's one two three four five six eyes. Oh, there's a seventh one. Uh, if I felt confident, I could split this into several plants, but I don't. So since this is actually my front center spot, I'm going to switch these. <laughs> Not even joking. 
I am going to take this one and move him further back. And I am going to plant this guy right up front. Because he looks amazing. All right, move down in here. Hold on, I took all the landscape fabric out of this area, but apparently I missed a little bit. I don't want this going in the landscape fabric. There we go. That's better. And of course, peonies are um, spring flowers. Means they will come up and be beautiful in the spring. And then we'll just have green foliage most of the rest of the season. So that is one reason why I planted these ferns all around here, which they need to be cut back. Put an awful breeze. They all kind of hooded, but the green of the ferns will uh, give us lots of good summer and winter interest, even when the peonies have gone dormant. There we go. That's a nice tuber. Water him in. I put a little more dirt around him as this dirt settles. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. All right, let's bring you somewhere else. Fluffy soil, that's good. We've got our second Sarah Bernhardt planted right up here. We have a Shirley Temple. We have another Shirley Temple. We have our very first Sarah Bernhardt. We have a Jacorma. So this one grew for us last year, and you can see the eyes right there. They're looking good for this year. And then Back here is our second Jacorma. So they are essentially every two to four feet around the shady part of my garden here. I have a couple more places I'd like to put one, but you can see I've also been filling in with some lupins that I've been growing from seed. My ferns, some more lupins back here iris. I have a hydrangea. So lots of fun things, but I need more summer color back here and it is hard. I have tried many different things for summer color in this spot. None of them lived. So go with spring color and evergreen interests like ferns. And we will see if maybe this year that does better, but I am very excited for these peony tubers, especially this one. Cross your fingers. I will give y'all updates as we get closer to spring. Bye.